Hello everyone, I'm Anthony Kinnear and this is our ServiceNow gamification add-on. I'm going to show you what we've built. So we've, in, we've included this extra module called gamification and in here there's achievements. If I click the achievement tab this will bring me to all the achievements that we've created. Now users are able to create their own individual achievements. If we was to click on one of the achievements like ring the alarm we'll be presented with a form. This is the form you'll see when you click on an achievement. The name field lets you set a really cool name for the achievement. Like for example we've set ring the alarm here. The active button works the same as everywhere else in ServiceNow. It lets you set the achievement to be active or not active. This is a quick way to be able to toggle achievements on and off. A table field lets you link the achievement to a particular table. This enables you to make the achievement unlock for a certain table. The best way to think of the table field is it works similar to the table field in the business rules where you can link a particular business script to a particular table. Now the icon field is really cool. It lets you set different icons for each achievement so each achievement can have its own individual personality. The description field enables you to personalise the achievement even further. It lets you add a personalised description to the achievement. This could be a small hint to the game on how to unlock the achievement. Now the trigger condition is the brain behind the achievement. What it does is give you the logic to set, it lets you set the logic to lo unlock an achievement. So for example, for this achievement here, the impact has to be set to high and the urgency has to be set to high. When these two conditions are both true, the achievement will unlock. The reason why impact is set to high and urgency is set to high is, this is because this creates a priority one incident. If you don't want the achievement to unlock straight away, what you can do is use the count required to unlock field. This enables you to set a number limit on how many times the trigger condition has to fire in order to unlock the achievement. So this, for example, if you wanted this achievement to be 10 priority 1 incidents need to be created. You can set this value to 10. At the top right you'll see a check condition on and it has insert and update. All this means is when do we check the condition? Do we check it on an insert operation or an update operation? This enables you to stop achievements from counting unnecessarily when you update the record by setting the update to false. Now for the incredibly fun part the experience points. This lets you set the number of points an achievement gives you. This gives you more control over making achievements give you more points or less points based on what they are. So more difficult to earn achievements should be give you more experience points than less difficult to earn achievements. The experience points gained, to, gained from an achievement will count towards your overall experience on your profile. So using this achievements form, we can create a multitude of different achievements. I'm just going to show you two more as examples. This is the wings on your feet achievement. What this one says is that you have to create a first core resolution in order to unlock it. As you can see in the trigger condition, FCR is set to true. This is the condition used to be able to unlock the achievement. The next achievement I want to show you is the 100 club. This achievement makes use of the count required to unlock by setting it to 100. In order to unlock this achievement, you have to create 100 instant tickets. This achievement also makes use of the check condition on, as the update field is set to false. This prevents people from hitting the update button over and over again on, a, on an instant, causing the achievement to unlock prematurely. Okay. Let's unlock our first achievement as a service desk user. So the achievement I want to unlock is Wings on Your Feet, where what you have to do is to create a first core resolution. So using ServiceNow, if I create a new incident and I click on first core resolution, this will be my first first core resolution, so the achievement should unlock. Achievement unlocked. Straight away we're given a pop-up box with a name of the achievement which is wings on your feet, the amount of experience points earned which is 100 and a short description of the achievement. This gives the user an instant gratification 
that they've done something that has earned them some points. So, what if the user was to create a priority one instant? Would they get an achievement for this? So again, if I go to the instant creation screen and I set impact to high and urgency to high, when I submit this, this should create a priority one incident which should unlock the ring the alarm achievement. If I hit submit, ring the alarm, we've just got an achievement and we've earned 10,000 experience points. What if I want to have a look at all the achievements I've got or see a summary of the achievements that I've earned? We have created a dashboard built right inside of ServiceNow. If we click this dashboard, will be presented with this funky looking page. On here you can see all the achievements we've unlocked as they're opaque and the ones we haven't unlocked are transparent. Not only that but we've implemented dynamic progress bars. So each of these achievements has a progression bar showing how far you are away from unlocking a certain achievement. Oh hang on a minute Check out the 100 Club. I'm only one away from earning that achievement. I really want that 100 Club achievement. Let's go and unlock it. Create a new incident. Let's put the description as Yay! 100 Club. And let's submit this. Finally, part of the 100 Club. Just got my new achievement got 10,000 EXP for that. Let's go and have a little look how it looks on the dashboard. So click the dashboard, scroll down, there it is, the 100 Club. I'm in the 100 Club and I've got that really nice achievement. I have just earned the 100 Club achievement, but I want to be able to tell all my friends that I've got this achievement. In service now, we've linked these achievements to the live feed. So if I go over to my live feed, that has been posted on the gamification channel. Within ServiceNow, we've integrated gamification within the self service portal. This enables users to be able to use the self service portal to see their current progress towards achievements. This is our custom gamification self service portal. From here, Users can check out their own achievements, they can look at all the achievements that are available, they can compare their achievement profiles against other players within ServiceNow, and they also get a summary of their profile showing their total EXP and the last achievement they got, which was the 100 Cub for us. The My Achievements page looks the same as it does in the dashboard. This shows that we can create a similar experience using the self-service portal. This is the All Achievements page. In here, users can browse all the achievements that are currently available to them. The whole point of gamification is to be competitive. And we have done that within our self-service portal by giving users the ability to compare their achievement profiles against other users. So if I was to compare myself against the Dean, you can see straight away that I have more achievements than he does. I think the Dean needs to work on his service desk skills. On behalf of the Innervise Gamification team, I'd like to thank you for listening.